Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you a great new antivirus uh, internet security program from Norton uh, called Norton 360. It's probably the best software that you can buy from Norton. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the user interface, and um, this is a pretty simplistic user interface, if I do say so myself. It pretty much lays out uh, the specific areas you may want to use. Down here you have PC security. Uh, identity protection, backup, and PC tune-up. Um, underneath of PC security, you have view details, and if you click on this, it shows you all of the components of Norton 360. And as you can see, they're all completely turning, they're all turned on and functional because of the the green checks, and it shows you um, it if it's protected or not. Cool thing about it is if you have Windows 7, it installs this gadget along with it that notifies you whether or not it is protected or isn't. And that's, it's a pretty cool way to be aware of how it's running. If you click Run Scans, you have Quick Scan, which is recommended. And it basically scans the most vulnerable files in your computer. Uh, so this is probably recommended for people who want to scan it quickly without having to wait uh, and look at it for a long time. Uh, if you have enough time you can click on comprehensive scan which basically scans your entire computer for viruses spyware etc it does disk optimization which is basically uh, disk defragmenting uh, it reduces uh, it, it gets rid of uh, unwanted uh, disk space so you can use uh, actual disk space and it does backup if you click let me choose you can decide which components you want it to run so uh, as you can see I have live update which is basically the updater virus and spyware scan, internet temporary files, uh, Windows temporary files, and I haven't checked history because I usually do that with, uh, I can do that with control panel, but I guess I could check it if I wanted to. Uh, I have disk optimization, registry cleanup, I haven't done this yet. This is basically where it fixes any uh, r broken files in your registry, usually helps your operating system move uh, a little bit faster. Uh, and then you have backup, which sends all your files to a secure online location provided by Norton. Just click cancel. Uh, you have run live update, which is basically running for any new updates from Norton. It automatically does this while you're not working with it, uh, so to make sure that it has all the updates so that it will run completely uh, as smoothly as possible. Uh, it shows uh, when you last updated it. You have Manage Firewall, uh, whoops, let me close that. You have Manage Firewall, which allows you to manage your firewall and prevent any intrusions or something. And then you have Run Norton Insight. And if you click this, it uh, increases computer performance by identifying files uh, that don't require scanning. Um, and as you can see, about 81% of my files on my computer I can trust, and it's scanning the other 19%. I'll uh, just click close. Um, and then finally, you have identity protection. If you click uh, view details, you have Norton Safe Web. Uh, make sure the web is completely safe for you. Uh, anti uh, and you have identity safe, and I have configured it. You have to configure it once you install it, but uh, it's very important to make sure that you have your identity protection activated. You have backup. And if you click View Details, shows you backup. I haven't configured it yet. I will probably do so after I make this video. And then you have backup status overlays. Um, I'm it usually sends it to a different website for each person, but they are completely controlled by Simon Tech, the creator of Norton. Uh, it can tell you uh, preview what it is going to be backing up. It sends it to a secure online storage location. And it, then it automatically backs up uh, all your files, but I haven't set it up yet, so it isn't doing that for me yet. And I'll just click Close, New. Uh, you have Run Backup Now. I haven't s configured it yet. Restore Files, and then Buy More Storage. Uh, I don't think I need to do that. Uh, view details underneath a PC tune-up. These are basically uh, components of Norton 360 that fixes any problems with your operating system to make sure that your computer is running as fast 
as possible. And usually, uh, if your computer's slow, it has uh, to do with viruses. But occasionally, um, it has to do with the aftermath of viruses. For example, whenever I got a bad virus not too long ago, my registry was really messed up. And so, these components are basically programs that try to fix uh, things as much as possible so that it will work once again. And you don't really need to get a computer repairman to look at it. But sometimes, if it's really bad, like mine was, you have to get... Uh, computer repairman to look at it. Uh, you have run disk optimization, run file cleanup, run diagnostic report, and then run startup manager. Up on the top you have your tasks, so if you click on it, it shows all of the things that you can do uh, with this software. Click close. Uh, you can configure all the settings for everything, and as you can see I have safe surfing, identity safe, everything just checked uh, and working. I have my account. Um, not gonna click on that. Uh, you guys can probably guess why. Uh, product feedback. If you click on this, it will open up a Windows Explorer window, and uh, it'll send you to Norton's website or Simon Tech's website, where it uh, allows you to give them feedback on how it's working, and you can also get help and support uh, from online, which you automatically buy whenever you buy it. And then you have help and support, tutorials, get support, help, uh, etc. And um, down on the bottom, it shows your sub your subscription status. Uh, I have 345 days remaining until I have to buy it again. But uh, so far, it has been working very well, and I highly recommend it to somebody who's uh, concerned about their computer safety. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'm checking my account every day. Uh, so I'll get to back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.